This is Dean with Westlake Pro, and today we're taking a look at Neutron from Isotope. This is a very cool plugin uh, with a lot of different features, a lot of different tools for mixing your tracks. So we're taking a look at a pop track uh, with some heavy bass and uh, heavy drums in the chorus here. And uh, we're actually going to be taking a look at the masking tool within the equalizer here. So what we're going to do is, uh, first thing we have to do is make sure we have Neutron on both tracks that we want to work with. So we've got Neutron on the drums here, and we've titled it up here with drums so we know which one it is. And then we've got Neutron on the bass titled here as well. So we're going to go into the equalizer here, and when we go into that and we turn masking on, we can choose which track we want to see uh, the masking for. So let's go ahead and set it to drums. So we're really working on the, the relationship between the kick and the bass here. We want to make sure that we're not masking too much. So when we turn this on, you can see we get some new controls. We get this kind of alert bar here. We also get to see the drum EQ right from within the bass uh, Neutron plugin. So we're, we're actually seeing the drum controls and we can affect those uh, right here. So let's go ahead and hit play and see what happens to the interface. And so you can see that we get these bars kind of going up in uh, this alert section showing us, hey, here's a lot of masking. You can see we've got the uh, kind of northern lights display here. And it's saying that there's a lot of frequencies overlapping between the drums and bass there. So we might want to carve those out. So we could do that within the bass track here if we wanted to. So we could do that within the bass track here if we want to. We just turn uh, the node on that we want to affect. And you can see that by just doing that, we have gotten rid of the alert up here saying that, hey, it's probably okay now. Now you might listen to it and say, actually, I liked it before better. You could turn it off there and you could say, actually, I want to affect the drums. Turn those down in those frequencies. And you can do that right from within the plugin. So if we go back to the drums, you can see that that change has been reflected in the equalizer. Here's the change that we made. So that is uh, the masking tool within Neutron. It's a very, very cool tool that allows you to uh, really start to see the relationships between your tracks, see what's happening between your bass and your kick drum uh, right from within the same interface and then do something about it. You can actually go in and uh, affect how, you know, if you want to turn the bass down in that frequency range or turn the drums down in that frequency range, it's very easy to do so. A couple of other cool features, you can bypass the EQs. Hearing what that sounds like there. You can also do inverse links, so when you uh, turn one of them up, the other one goes down, and vice versa. So this is very cool if you're, you know, working together here. You can hear just by doing that, we've completely adjusted the, the kick bass balance, uh, and it, it's a really easy way to do that. I'm going to go ahead and turn those nodes off. So that is uh, masking. It's a very cool tool. Um, it has a lot of power to it, um, and it allows you to see your tracks one next to the other. Be sure to check out our other videos on Neutron for each of the modules and tools within the plugin, as well as uh, seeing some of these demo tracks and listening to what Neutron does for those. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this.